Well, he's got his daylight ring back. We're all set for a picnic. He's lucky he has a brother who looks out for him. Otherwise, you might have pawned it for a pinball machine. <laughs> You're suspiciously quiet. Tell me what Kitsia said back at the cabin. She told me that we don't stand a chance. And what did she know about us? Well, she told me a very interesting little story about the history of doppelgangers, how they're fated to fall in love with each other. Basically, the universe programmed you to fall in love with Steph and not me, which means we're a lost cause no matter what we do. I'm paraphrasing. The universe? Her words, not mine. So she's crazy? Maybe. Maybe she's not. Look, I know I spent the last couple days focusing on trying to find Stefan, but that has nothing to do with how I feel about you. And I'm not gonna let Silas's 2,000-year-old ex-girlfriend screw things up between us. What, you think I am? I mean, no one tells me how I lived my life. No one tells me who I love. Especially not some vindictive prehistoric witch, and definitely not the universe. And I'm not gonna let someone else's idea of destiny stop me from loving you, or being with you, or building a future with you. Because you are my life.